Welcome to Daybreak Leadership Club. This club is all about helping you to develop your confidence and skills for your day-to-day -day communications, particularly in your working life. To be a leader, you need to express yourself frankly and appropriately. It is said that leaders are speakers and speakers are leaders. At Daybreak, we welcome those of all ages and backgrounds. Whether you're an experienced speaker wanting to fine-tune your skills or a beginner who wants to establish a foundation for public speaking. We provide a supportive and humorous atmosphere and we're proud of just how quickly people in our club become proficient at speaking to groups. The speaker has developed over 12 months to this level of confidence and skill. You will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. I always thought Dr. Seuss's books were just entertainment. I never really understood the meaning behind the words. You know, I just thought the, the people who let the cat in the house, they were a bit silly. And they should have known better, but I didn't give it a lot more thought. And so I think as a responsibility as somebody reading a book to somebody else, or even as a Toastmaster telling a story, it is our responsibility to let the listener know that there is a moral there or a, a teaching to be found and help them Prepared to Prepared speeches that. are usually five to seven minutes duration. I, a couple of years ago I did my first trip with our, our, our new CEO and uh, we'd booked separately so we weren't sitting together on all these domestic flights and I had great pleasure if uh, on a particular flight I'd noticed that he was in 13A and this great big fatty would come along, this huge, huge monster <laughs> and I'd go, oh I can see 13B coming along Peter. <laughs> and here is a guest who felt comfortable enough to speak for a minute on a given so, topic. On the end of the row so I had no one else to speak to. <laughs> <laughs> I got all shy and starstruck, and I actually didn't speak about anything. <laughs> I, I introduced myself, and then that was about it. I was even texting people asking for conversations. <laughs> Suggestions for developing your skills are given in a supportive and meaningful way. One minute speech was the fact that you had a beginning and a middle and an ending, which is used the Toastmaster skills. So you took control of the situation. The speaker announcement on the, the plane, that was, that was great fast talking. You could tell the words were there, but I didn't know what you were saying. So that, <laughs> One recommendation, first off, is the use of the word now. So you'd come out here and go, now I'd like to say this, and I think that just was not necessary all the time. One of the evaluation process that we go through is trying to recommend, uh, or commend, recommend, and then uh, commend again, so the recommendation side of it. The only thing I could say is that such a weighty topic as public transport in Auckland, uh, we had maybe about three quarters story, um, one quarter message and punchy bit. I would have liked to have seen a bit more punch in there. Paul, you were a wee bit late to the meeting and chairing meetings is a very important part of Toastmasters because not only are we here to learn how to speak, think on our feet and, and get confident and so forth, but also to learn the, get, learn the ropes of running meetings and taking control and doing it in a, in a very friendly way. And here's another guest who was awarded the day's accolade. Above all, she impressed the group by her openness, sharing a personal glimpse of herself and her willingness to speak off the cuff. We recognise those who strive and we celebrate the milestones they achieve. And also I'd just like to make one more note of Jodine completing all ten speeches really well. Yeah, I found it really challenging but also extremely welcoming and friendly. Um, getting to stand up and, and just give a talk was something I was, uh, yeah, that's what I'm here to do. I think it's, uh, it provides a bit of structure and it's always interesting watching everybody and, and each week it's completely different so, so it's good, sometimes it's extremely humorous like it was today and um, oh, it's just great fun every time. So. Our breakfast meetings are at 7am every two weeks at the Jubilee Centre. For details of our next meeting, visit our website 
at daybreaktoastmasters.co.nz.